Welcome back to the Rocky Mountains, the British Columbia School of Log Building, and another Log Talk with Dave. In our last video, we looked at how to use our scribes to mark out the cut line to fit one log to the next. In this video, we want to look at how we cut the belly cut. So we'll go through the efficient series of cuts that remove the wood that allow this log to fit tightly to the log below. Let's go take a look. I want to demonstrate the series of cuts used to remove the wood from the belly groove along the length of this short example log. You can see that the scribe line has been significantly darkened just for visual purposes in the video. If we look on the end grain of the log, we see a series of marks here. I put those on to show you the order of cuts that I'm going to do from the end view. So our first two cuts are going to be our almost vertical cuts, approximately an inch and a half deep. These are called our tracer cuts. They follow along the scribe line on each side and they'll, they'll define the width of the belly groove. So we make those two cuts first and then we come back with the bar on a 45 degree angle and we make our second series of cuts, one from each side. And those cuts need to connect down at the bottom depth of the belly groove all the way along and then this whole piece should be able to pop out in one long chunk. So let's do those cuts and then we'll regroup. Okay, with our main V removed from the belly, we've got a couple more cuts we need to do with the chainsaw before we uh, push the chisel through and then a final grind to the line. So our next cuts are going to be 45s but back in the other direction, this way and then back this way. And what that does is just remove this high point along each side. So I'll take those two ridges off and then I'll just make a series of uh, just full length cuts, just removing the bulk of the material and then getting it ready to slick it through with the chisel. So we'll go ahead and do that.
As you saw, we used the small grinder to finish right up tight to the score line along the length of the log. And that's the last step that completes our short demonstration on how to cut the belly groove. In another video, we'll take a look at how we put the finished cup on the end of the log that's visible once the cabin is all stacked together. I just want to make one last comment on the depth of the belly groove. As we can see when we bring our two logs together, the profile of this log does extend down inside the belly groove. So we just want to make sure that we're always leaving enough depth so that there's no hang ups between the two logs, especially if there are some knots or humps or bumps on the top side of this log along the length. We also want to ensure that we leave enough room to have a foam pea gasket on both sides of the belly groove as well as some sheep's wool or fiberglass insulation along the length of the belly groove. But that's another video. Thanks for watching this log talk with Dave. Think about joining us for a log building course at the British Columbia School of Log Building. Until next time, be safe and have fun.